Hello, everyone. Selena here, Selena Blackett Crochet. And I am streamlining my pattern testing process to give all of my pattern testers a better experience while we're fully transitioning to Google Docs. Uh, and I'm also making a tutorial on how you can best use Google Docs, especially when you're pattern testing. Um, I appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart, and I know that I am asking a lot from you guys as you test through my patterns. So this tutorial is meant to show you exactly what I mean by the testing process to give you a better experience, uh, but also so that I can effectively get all of your comments and feedback in ways that help me to edit the pattern with greater ease. So here we have it. Uh, whenever I ask for pattern testers, I... Um, I do say that the entire testing process is done through Google Docs, and that's what we're looking at right here. Now, you do not have to have a Gmail. Um, there's, there's nothing extra, there's nothing different you have to do other than you do have to create a Google account. That doesn't mean an email or anything like that, but if you don't already have a Google account, which you might have one, if you don't already have one as you're asked, or as you're invited into this testing process, you may just have to, with your email address, whatever address that may be, you may just have to have a, what do you call it, a password for a login so that you may access uh, Google um, things like this Google Doc. So really that's the only thing different you have to do. And that's so that um, as you're going through these Google Docs and you're utilizing them, um, you can do so with greater ease. I don't know. Google be crazy sometimes. So anyway, yes, you may have to create a Google account, but that does not mean you need a Google email. Um, yeah, so that's that. Okay, so when you ask to test and you tell me what size you want to test, what I do is I come to my Google Doc. This is where my pattern is. So I'm going to start from the top and move down. If you guys have any questions, just let me know. So typically, a lot of things that I write have a size. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes there's just one size. Um, if there, if it is size specific, if you've asked for a certain size like medium, then what I'll do is I'll add your name. I will tag you, as you can see right here. This will invite you to the document. Okay, so you should get an email saying you've been invited, you've been assigned a size from Selena Baca. When you get that email, you click on that email, you log in using your email, and you have access. Now, what does access mean? Well, um, patterns be super secretive, right? I have to keep it that way. This is my paid content. So what I love about Google Docs is that you, with your email ad address, can access this doc. However, you can't share the link. So just because the link is available, you can't come up here and click on this link and share it. So only you, with your email, can log in and access this. The link is not shareable. Uh, so that means every time you want to view this document, you have to log in. Make sense? Yes? All right. It just, it keeps the process secure so that, you know, the internet does not, you know, does not get access to uh, this paid content. Uh, also, it allows us, uh, you know, this, this, this right here allows us to have private conversations. Now, if you have specific pattern questions, comments, suggestions, I'm going to show you what to do about that in a minute. Really, all I want you to do right here is to tell me um, anything that only I need to know. Like, you know what? I'm sick. I can't pattern test for you anymore. Maybe you'd put that right there. Or um, I'm completely finished, and I, I'm going to do another tutorial about how to add a Ravelry project. But Selena, I've, I'm, I'm done with my test. I've completed my Ravelry project. Here it is. And I'm going to link you to my pattern to let you know I am done. Here. And I'm even going to write, done. And there's the link, and you can reply. And that way I know, sweet, Selena finished it at 11.43 a.m. today, and here's the Ravelry link. I know exactly where to go get it. Awesome. Good job, Selena. Okay, let me go on down the list a little bit more. So that's how sizes are assigned, and that's what the that's what this comment box feature does, okay? So further on down, how to test for me, will you have to read the entire document, please? Let me know if I spelled something wrong or, you know, uh, grammar's wrong, punctuation, acronym usage, uh, correct stitch and row counting. Sometimes you can just easily kind of read through and proof and go, wait a minute, you're missing row seven, you know, something like that. Uh, flow and ease of pattern instructions. Just by reading through, does it make sense off the top of your head? Or, Selena, this is a hot mess. I don't know what you were thinking. You know, let me know. So just kind of read through to prove first. Uh, I will always have the due date. 
Although I don't like that it's right there. So let me go ahead and change it up here. So I will always have the due date proof. Uh, what do you do if you have feedback, if you have a question or if you have a comment? Now, this is the part that I have done a terrible job of explaining in the past, but that's the exact reason why I'm doing this tutorial now. So let's say you're going through the pattern and you're like, wait a minute, size small. I know she has it listed here, but maybe this is a typo. I'm going to highlight this little box comes up right here. I'm going to click on it. Now I can add a comment. Selena, there is no size small question mark comment. That way I'm now going to get an email. I'm going to get an email that Selena, my pattern tester, uh, sent me a question. When I get that email, I can click on that. It takes me directly to here and I can go size small. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, that is a typo. And I can immediately resolve it from right here. So it allows you as a tester to tell me the specific area that you're talking about, highlight it, I, it generates an email, I can click all, right on over here and I can immediately rectify, I can rectify that situation. Alternatively, let's, you know, it, it could be anything like, uh, Selena, these instructions make no sense. This is a hot mess. See, look at that. That way you don't have to, there's, it's all condensed right here. If you have a question about something, if something's wrong, again, question, comment, feedback, anything. All you have to do is highlight that area in Google Doc and click this little button right here and it gives me a note about that specific piece of instruction here. If something is spelled wrong, if a stitch count is wrong, if something is written incorrectly, anything, it's condensed right there. It allows me, it generates that email. I'm immediately dinged. I can go and rectify that situation for you guys immediately. Okay. So that's how we give feedback or that's how we effectively proof this, right? Okay. So the next, you're finished testing for me. You went through everything you've proofed. Uh, now what I would love for you to do is, and every pattern is different. Some patterns you can add your projects. Some patterns are secret and we don't add projects yet. In either case, I will tell you. Uh, but if it does say, please add your project, then I give you instructions on how to add your project. I'm going to do another tutorial in just a minute. That way it's, it's, it's my way. Um, but then also uh, I give you the link to the pattern as it's available. And that way you guys can clearly see, oh, okay, this is the pattern that I'm going to be linking. Easy peasy, right? I totally got it. A few notes. These are some revisions that I'm making. Uh, all of my patterns are copyright protected. It is unlawful to distribute instructions for free sale or trade. It's, it's unlawful. Let's not be unlawful, people. Uh, please do, make do not make variations to the pattern in design or style. Follow the pattern exactly as it's written. Then feel free to make suggestions after you complete. What does that mean? It means don't go, you know, Selena, I know that this tunic that you made is supposed to have 30 rows, but you know, I wanted to do 37. I really want to test a few things in size, maybe one of them. So make sure that you're following exactly as it's written, but let me know if you feel it needs to have an update or a revision or a variation. Uh, next. All right. You do have commenting access only via email. So what does that mean? Well, that means I don't want anyone to accidentally come through here and rewrite, delete, omit instructions. So if you have access to a pattern because you're a pattern tester, it means you can only comment. You can only look at it and you can only comment. If you are only a commenter, then you can't, you cannot, the document will not allow you to write in text to change text. Even if you wanted to update the spelling of something, the document won't allow you to do that. Further, you will only be allowed to access the document again when you log in with your email address. So you are not allowed to print the document. And now why do I say you're not allowed to print the document? I'm not trying to be stingy, but this is a huge problem that I didn't realize was a problem until after I realized it was a problem. Think about it this way. As a pattern tester, a lot of you guys go, you know what, I need to print this because that's how I'm gonna easily go through and proof this. It's not a good idea for this reason. Every single time I write a pattern and I ask for pattern testers, Selena Baca makes a lot of mistakes every single time. So you may be going through the printed version of the pattern instructions, but because I can easily update things universally here, that way we're all 10 of us are looking at this document, I can update something and all 10 of us immediately get that update because we're only using this one document. If you print this, you no longer get immediate universal updates. So you may go through an entire pattern and I, maybe I've completely changed the neckline. Maybe I decided, oops, this pattern doesn't start at the neckline, it starts at the bottom. 
oops, it's not chain 197, it's chain 150. So there are a variety of updates that I'm going to make as my pattern testers are going through this that you can really only access when we all have eyes on this document. So are you allowed to print? Nope. But that's why. I just think that it's going to be the best environment for everyone possible. Okay, so that is it. That is how to use Google Documents. Those are your editing um, tools, all right? So that way when I say, do you guys want to pattern test for me? It's only going to be done in Google Docs. Uh, hopefully this video will help you guys understand what that means. And if you have any questions uh, or if this video tutorial needs to be more... Um, more better. You guys just let me know. Okay. Uh, thanks again from the bottom of my heart for all of the people in this environment who test for me. Testing is super hard. Um, and everyone who tests for me, you guys just have a special place in my heart. So peace guys. Thank you for all you do. And I hope this helps. Let me know. All right. See you later. Bye.